Hello fellas, how the devil are we? Today I'm going to run you through how I will personally dominate 2024. We're coming into the start of February now, boysies, and you're probably thinking, fuck, start of the year maybe has not went to plan because you don't actually have a fucking plan. And the fact is everyone has one until they get punched in the fucking face. I think it was Mike Tyson that said that. But today I'm here to alleviate all of your stress and get you clear. Give you that clarity in which you now need to become a man who does not miss, follow through on your word, and just fucking dominate like an absolute pro. So this video here, this is um, reference from another video that I saw, but I thought I'd create my own version, put a little bit of my spin on it. But yeah, like fucking, you know, I think last year for me personally, like I made a lot of progress of my business, my relationship, my client base, personally, professionally, physically, psychologically, but there were still certain things I was not happy about. And for this year, I'm committed to changing that. A hundred percent changing all of this shit. Because I deserve better. That's why I think I believe that. And as you guys watching this, I bet you believe you deserve better. But that self-work will equate to the self-worth. And only, only then, once you've done enough work on yourself, will you be able to get what you want in life. So, we'll dive in. We'll dive in. What is the truth? The truth is, my dear friends, improvement, self-improvement, physically, mentally, emotionally, business-wise, self-improvement is the only thing that will make you truly happy. No car, no watch, no amount of money, none of that shit. That's all the outcome from the process. Self-improvement is everything. If you now look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what, I like this guy. I like the way he looks, I like the way he feels. I like the physique, he's got ripped abs, he holds himself to high standard, he's well groomed, his hair is the way it's meant to be, it's, you know, your self-development is everything from how you look, how you feel, how you think, how you perform, how you dress, absolutely everything. So self-improvement, until you master self-improvement, which you can't actually master, it's a continuous game, then you're going to always feel like something's missing. And inside peak performance, we aim for our boys and our girls to not feel like anything's missing anymore. And that's why self-improvement, self-development is absolutely paramount in any outcome, any process, and the success in which you truly want in life. And I've, I've had nice things. I've been on nice holidays. I've travelled. I've been able to go into a place and not even think about how expensive something is, just get it. And I've, I've been there, but I know I'm only going to improve. I'm only going to get better, you know. But self-improvement is the only thing that actually makes me truly happy. When I know I'm working on myself, for myself, become the very best version of myself for those who need me the most, that's when I'm at my fucking best. So design your ultimate self, okay? How does the person you want to be look, feel, and perform? I truly believe that the person I want to be is lean year round, he's strong, he's athletic, he might not be the best in one discipline, but he's very good across the board, he's a bit of an all-rounder. He's got a physique that draws attention, people turn heads when they see it, they're like, whoa, he, he looks after himself. He, he is someone who eats healthy, who gets well, uh, a good amount of rest, and he trains fucking hard. You have to be so disciplined with the training element. Training is everything. But think about how you look, you dress, you eat, you show up, all of that stuff. In complete detail, write yourself almost like a manifesto of how you look, how you feel, how you show up, all of that. Because if you are unsure, then you're going to make unsure decisions. You're, going to, you're not going to back yourself. You're not going to trust yourself. You're not going to actually meet the person you want to be and get close or even within touching distance of that result. So get really fucking clear on how that person looks, how they dress, how much muscle they have, how low body fat they have, whatever it may be. Money, belongings, complete detail. What do you actually want to have? What car do you want to drive? What watch do you want to have? What aftershave? What shoes? What clothing? I'm not a materialistic person. I'm wearing a Garmin. I'm wearing like a bomber jacket, I'm wearing a Zara t-shirt, pair of joggies, nice pair of shoes, the accessories do matter for me, I do like my watches, my bracelets, my, my necklaces and stuff, but 
this is me turned down right now. I'm just in my chills, my comfies, my kind of incognito mode clothing, you know. But you gotta know what you want. You gotta know what you want in complete detail from the house that you wanna have, the money that you wanna have. You want to know everything about that person because see when you now think like that person you're going to get what that person now has and it's about reverse engineering it so be really clear on that charisma number three what level of energy do you want to show up with what kind of risk do you want to have what kind of vibe what kind of aura are you a guy that demands respect commands respect all of that good stuff do you show up with good energy and intent behind what you now do what's your personality like are you a doom and gloom, little fucking softy, little NPC motherfucker that just, you know, is low in energy and always making excuses? Or you're a high octane guy who's on the ball, that is bouncing about, that is excitable, that is just, let's go, let's go, next thing, boom, boom, boom. Understand that, right? Because what, what, what do you want people to think when you walk into a room? Do you want to be like, oh... Okay, do you want to walk into a room and be like, hi, here I am, or do you want to, want to walk into a room and people say, fuck, there he is. There he fucking is. You know, that's what you want. So how does that person act? But most importantly, how does that person not act? What are the things, think about this, this golden version thing, but I picked this up from Alex Hermosi. How do they not act? Think, think about a list of the, the top 10 things that the person that you want to be doesn't do. They just avoid doing them. <laughs> and you're going to be winning, Okay. Black coffee, usually on the black coffee still around 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now. I'm feeling a bit run down today, so the more, the merrier. 10 reasons about myself for becoming this person. Get clear. Top 10 reasons why you need to become this motherfucker. You need to be clear on that because without a why, you won't hit target. You won't get where you want to be. So you have to have 10 reasons about yourself for becoming that person. Are they, are they going to have better relationships? They're going to have a better body, better energy, better health, better sex, better fulfillment, better happiness, better confidence. Boom, boom, boom. I think that's just me off the top of my head, but get clear on that list. I know mine, but you don't know yours, so that's why I'm making this video so you can get a gist of what's required. So put yourself in the most self inflicted, stressful positions possible. Life is coming for you no matter what. No matter fucking what, boys. You're going to be faced with challenges, faced with heartbreak, faced with interesting, almost back against the wall situations. It's going to happen no matter what, but if you create the man that does not miss, create the aspirational identity, the hero story, then any challenge is now just an opportunity for you to grow through it and learn the lessons of the, off the back of it, you know? Because you have a choice. You, you have a really fucking big choice every single day to make. Do you want to be a loser or do you want to be a winner? <clears throat> Because see, when you put yourself in a position to face stress, like take everything head on, I would never compromise sleep, but from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed, are you fucking maxing out? Are you pushing the boat out when it comes to your own development? When it comes to business, relationships, life, fitness, career? See, the more you put stress on yourself, the easier life becomes. Choose an easy life and you will have a hard life, but choose a hard life, you will have an easy life. That's the way the quote goes. Because adversity is going to crush you if you try and make it easy. If you always look for the easy way to do things and you cut corners, you'd be smacked in the face and you'd be like, fuck. Because you, do, you don't have the growth. Imagine someone who's like weathered the storm. Imagine an extremely skilled sailor out in the sea. He's going to have a far better experience. He'll manage to get to the end in one piece rather than putting a fucking idiot on an amazing boat and then a storm hits. The guy, the idiot, that does not know what to do, but the skilled sailor, because he's done all the hard stuff, no matter if he's got a good boat or a bad boat, he'll make it through, he'll weather the storm. And that's what Max now daily is. It's like, are you now putting yourself in a position to max out and try your absolute best to get where you need to be? Because those 1% little wins, those little needle moving tasks that you lean into daily, 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 if you max out daily with them, fuck, they're gonna compound. And it's not the one full swoop that takes down the tree, it's a hundred tiny cuts that come before it for that big bosh, and then boom, victory is mine, or yours. And when you're living this way, nothing will face you. The amount of shit I need to deal with running a business, even just being a coach, you might look at it as a lifestyle business, but I'm trying to build and scale something big here. Nothing, nothing will face you if you're now in a position of seeking challenge, facing challenge head on, and not shying away from it, leaning in all the fucking time. Get furious. This, this is the mindset that started it all, right? 
you, you got to get mad. Like, last year I got a little bit complacent. A little bit complacent. I got a little bit soft towards the start of last year. And I looked at myself and I was like, I need to fucking challenge myself. Because see, when I first started training weights, exercise, and looking to get better, I hated how I looked. I was angry. I was soft. I was fat. I was skinny. I just didn't have any muscle, no physique, low in confidence, and I was furious about that. And that drove me to change it. So ask yourself, why do you still look this way? Why? It's your fucking body. Why do you still have this much fat? Why do you not have a six pack? Why do you stress about money still? Why are you not taking control of that? Why are you not sorting that? Why can't I do this? Who Who's putting that limitation on you? Why do you put these limits on yourself daily, daily, daily? I know there's a couple of fucking typos, but get over it. If someone can do it, so can I. You have to live that way. If I've seen another 26-year-old man achieve massive, massive accolades in his life, personally, professionally, physically, and psychologically, why can't I do that? I have no limits on myself. Ultimate self-accountability, doing the hard things when no one's watching, despite how you feel or not. I will always lean in. You need to be accountable to yourself because no one else is going to do it for you, straight up. And if you don't have it, it's your fucking fault. If you don't have the body, your fault. You don't have the car, your fault. Don't have the partner, your fault. Don't have the confidence, your fault. You stack evidence every single day to create the ideal person. Ideal person, I should say. Don't want to be an idle person. Those guys suck. Those guys dig holes in your own life. But it's all your fault. Take responsibility. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Work harder. Those are the kind of mindset frames that you want to have. Discipline will set you free all day, baby. So commit to never breaking character. I will never break character for anyone, anytime. Because I know... The becoming the person I need to be is the best thing for everyone else around me. See, when I show up and I'm lean, I'm strong, I'm athletic, I'm proud of my decisions, I'm eating healthy, I'm getting the right amount of rest, I'm doing the outreach, I'm talking to my clients, I'm coaching my clients, I'm telling them what they need to hear. I'm aligned with the conscious congruency, the, the, the alignment, the values, the place, the person I want to be. Because how you do everything is how you do everything, mate. Never get sloppy. If your room and house and flat is all over the fucking place, but you're good at training, you're not good at anything. You need to be good at everything. You need to be a clean cut motherfucker from how you dress, how you show up, how you look, how you feel, how you think, how you perform, how you plan your week, how you execute deals, how you do the fucking do every single day. Because if you are, you know, if you wouldn't invite me around to your house right now the way it is, then you got to change that. How's your fucking bedroom? Is it all over the place? Junk everywhere. Crumbs on the floor. Packs of crisps. Like you need to, have, need to be clean. Eliminate distraction. Be an essentialist. Have the essentials taken care of every single day. And raise your fucking standard, boys. It's not about the money. It's not about the outcomes. It's about the process. It is about the process every single day. And when you've got a process of removal and you remove all of the stuff that now distracts you from your life, the process becomes easier. It becomes easier and then you create this person that attracts rather than needs or chases and the outcomes in which you want will happen. Like the minute I stopped trying to be lean all the time, I got lean. I just started eating healthier. I renounced the need for the result and I just became who I needed to be by acting in alignment with that guy because I know all of the accolades and traits of him. I will only demand the best for myself. I will walk into any room and I will allow myself to be noticed, recognised, spoken to well, and I will return that. I only want the best. I only want the best for you. I only want the best for myself. Why? Because I think I deserve it. I feel that I deserve it. I want to deserve it. And I'm going to act as fucking congruently as I can to get there, no matter fucking what. Because the game is not about getting to the end and falling off, it's about finding who you can become along the way. It's the process, the process, the process of creating the person you want to be. Your purpose in life is to create the man that you desire so you can give him back to the world. Because you owe it to everyone else around you, your mum, your dad, your partner, your friends, any lovers that you might have in your life, like they need you. They need you at your best. And when you ask yourself, how far can I really go with this? 
the, the there's no limits the sky's the limit honestly you can you can create a fucking amazing time an amazing life an amazing state of being thinking feeling because in this race there's no time to slack every single day you've got an opportunity to improve with your body improve with your food improve with your sleep get an hour deal over the line be a better partner a better husband a better father a better leader whatever it may be you have no time to slack and when you know that and there's pressure you remove the expectations and you just focus on just being a savage every single day. Because when you understand how how hard you can actually go, 2024, how, how much can you push yourself in 2024, this could be the year that you change the, traje the trajectory of everything because you lay such a solid, strong, like fucking amazing foundation that just puts you in a position where you can actually be the gift to those that are around you, you know? Like, I'm going to use Mark as a reference here, the success coach inside the program. He He's a father, ex-firefighter, bodybuilder. Like, he's the kind of guy that will come off stage doing a bodybuilding show, die his little heart out for months and months, and then come off stage, have one-off plan, maybe straight back to the gym the next day, you know? Like, that's a gift, because that's motivating. And if I'd done that, I'd end up like having to do the bodybuilding show and binge eat for a week, you know? And I've done that before, I've been there before. So it's like, think about how your actions lead to a response from other people. It's when you let yourself down, you let others down. And you, they let themselves off. Your weakness is their way out. And when you're just really on the ball with just being the best you can be all the time, you elevate the quality of your own room. And that shit is unrivaled that is the best the best thing you can possibly do for yourself your life your health your family friends relationships business because you're just always on the ball you just don't miss and everything starts with you you must work in yourself your level of success will never outweigh your level of personal development your net worth status anything like that will never exceed your personal development either like it comes down to never breaking promises with yourself if you say you're going to do something follow through on something make it happen make it fucking happen you know you never say something and don't do it because when you do you become a hypothetical hypocritical person and you teach others that it's okay to give up on your dreams which is not fucking on and this is where ultimate confidence is born if you're doing what you said you're going to do boys never missing on your words becoming a man of confidence integrity charisma and momentum and generally just living life off your own terms by fucking taking control just taking full ownership and just living a life with a ripped shit hot physique a positive mindset a money-making mindset a health and wealth orientated mindset when you're just opening doors for people closing doors on those you don't need in your life and just moving forward, removing all the noise and just building and building and building and building. That is what is required for you guys to be your best every day. So that's it. Kidding on, there's more. <laughs> I am good at this. I'm good at this. I'm always giving away extras. I'm not. The mindset, my mindset, tiredness does not exist. I am ill today. I am not well. I feel sick. I've got five calls back to back to back, it is Friday. I will not finish until half past seven tonight, work-wise, I've been up, not messed on anything, didn't even need to make this video, but I'm fucking making it. Tiredness does not exist, I will never miss. I trained this morning like a fucking demon, I pumped my gun so hard, my chest, my triceps, my shoulders, done the cardio that I didn't want to do. You know, weakness, it's their way out, as I said. When, anytime you feel weak, that is you being called from a higher place to follow through and level up and push through and develop confidence within the hard work. Because consistency, once it's there, it's going to take care of everything else. But you first need to let go of the ego and stop thinking that you're fucking entitled. You need to replace entitlement with gratitude and be someone who, no matter how good they are or how bad they are, they still do the same amount of work so they can get through that next day. Because when you walk the path of personal excellence, if, if, it's a fuck, if it's not a fuck yes, it's a fuck no, you need to be all in in this game. You need to remove any care, any doubts you have about anyone else, because who the fuck cares what anyone else thinks? It's about you. You're the centre of your own life. When you're your best, everyone else is going to get you your best. And you can serve them, you can help them. 
And that is what is so required in this life to build a world class year, a world class life to dominate in 2024. So we're creating the mindset. My routine is essential. Early wake up times every single day. Why? Because I don't want to do it. I don't need to wake up the time I do. But I wake up, I move my body, I oxygenate my body. No one is a morning person. They see when you wake up and you do burpees or you go a run or you get the cardio in or you breathe, you do a fasted walk, you do something, your brain switches on and you're like, fuck, I'm a morning person now because you're up in the morning doing shit. Self-development books every single day. I've started reading the Bible. I've started reading other personal development books. I just read, I immerse myself in knowledge. I build my brain. I never used to read. But I do it, I lean into it. Why? Because I don't want it. Daily non-negotiables, things that must happen every single day to move the needle forward. Personally, professionally, physically, with business, psychologically, whatever it may be, you need to have non-negotiables. That means you don't negotiate on them. If they're in the diary, you get it done. If you say to yourself you're going to get them done, they get fucking done. If you're going to do it, you're going to fucking do it no matter what. And you don't go to bed until it's all done. Because your options here are simple. You make the choice today to demand the best version of yourself, drop all excuses, drop all vices and dominate under any circumstances. The victor in the situation. Or you can be a victim and choose the comfort and never become the man or person or the woman that you could have been. And how, how bad is that living a life of low purpose, living a life where you could have been something so much more but you gave up on your dreams because you had too big an ego or too big a, you know, I don't know, a, a block in your mind thinking I can't do this because you didn't do the work, you didn't work in the habits, the routines, and non-negotiables, the personal development, you just didn't do enough of it and you just, you know, became your own biggest bottleneck, you became your own biggest limiting factor. Fuck that. But guys, that's enough for me. Let's fucking go, have an amazing day. More of these, let me know in the comments if you liked it. We've got a hell of a lot more content coming for 2024. Let's fucking go.